Hi everybody, it's Julie popping in here with a quick tutorial for making a masked spotlight effect in a night sky like I did on this particular card design. So I've got a standard uh, A2 card, it's white, and I'm going to die cut a circle from some Ink and Dickadoo masking paper. And I love this stuff because it has all over stickum and it's repositionable. It doesn't harm the surface of your paper when you're ready to remove it. And you can die cut and punch shapes out of it. And then I also have some post-it notes. Those are about like three by six inches long. So I, you could use masking tape if you have masking tape, but I need a straight edge and I'm going to figure out uh, where my beam of light is going to end up. And that's where the circle mask is going to come into play. So it's going to end up over here in the upper right. So I'm going to go ahead and burnish that down into place. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab a pale blue ink and this life-changing brush. This is one of the bigger ones. And I love this for creating blended effects. And I could never before get a really nice soft blend until I got these brushes. So they're just like my secret weapon for getting that really pale blended ink background. So I'm just trying to highlight the edges of this circle mask. And it's going to be hard to see uh, what I'm getting right now because it's such a pale color of blue. But when we get to the end, you're going to go, oh, I get it. <laughs> it's going to define where that beam of light is showing up in the sky. So now I'm going to take the straight edge of my post-it note and I'm going to mask off the bottom of my beam of light. So I'm protecting where the beam actually is going to go so that I can ink over here beyond the confines of these masks to get that beam of light effect. So I'm going to grab the same ink and a life-changing brush and go to town. And I just kind of sped it up here. Otherwise, you're going to want to stick a fork in your eye if you watch me do it in real time. And then I'm going to peel away the mask uh, for a second so you can see what I'm going for here. So see how that edge kind of aligns with that circle shape? That's what we're going for. So I'm going to anchor that back down and I'm going to grab another post-it note. And this is just going to help me. I'm just temporarily holding it right here so that I can go, okay, I want it to be about this narrow where it begins and then it's going to end up being that wide where it meets up with the circle mask. So now I'm going to go ahead and rotate this so that I'm masking once again, masking off uh, the beam of light. It's going to be protected and you can see there I'm showing you where it's going to end up and then I can sponge over on that outside edge. So I'm going to go ahead and take that same ink color and blend some more. And I'm not too concerned about the upper portion of the card where the fold line is. I just want to have it uh, blending down very softly and fading into white towards the bottom of the card. So this is going to give me that really cool graduated effect. And now I can come in with a really dark blue ink. And I'm going to start at the top and work my way down and blend into that paler blue. And I just want to be careful I don't go over the top of it and obliterate it. But I just wanted to create this graduated, you know, effect where the light is um, much brighter down towards where my city skyline is going to go. And then it's deep and darker, you know, the the higher the eye goes up into the night sky, it's going to be deeper and darker. So now I'm going to go ahead and reposition those masks so I can come around and do the other side of that beam of light. And again, I'm just taking really good care to not drift too far down the card front so I have that nice graduation of those colors happening. And so now when I peel all the masks away, you're going to see how I got this really cool beam of light you know, projecting up into the sky, just like you would see, you know, I don't know about you, but I've been in places where they beam those out and they're advertising something. It's like the bat signal, right? <laughs> anyway, it's just really fun to do. And I thought for a masculine birthday card, this was a really fun way to pull that effect off. So I'm going to stamp the sentiment and I angled it to create the further the illusion of this thing, you know, beaming up from out of the distance to the left and then positioned my cityscape or my big city right over the top of that and there you have it and i hope you'll give this a try if you've never done it before thanks for watching